What's cooking, booking? Boogie the man here on the Daily Boogie. Daily Boogie is cracking right now. So look, I went to the store to get some eggnog. I thought they were out because I didn't see those holiday Christmas decorative colors you see on the eggnog containers behind in the pasteurized dairy section where the milk is and all the goodness. You know, I, I looked for it. I didn't see the decorative red and greens from the holiday season. You know what I mean? But what I did see was the blues from Bud's Eggnog, my friend. Yes, the blues from Bud's Eggnog. I'ma do it for the block, make it hot when I drop, put them collars on top, what? Yes sir, I'ma do it how I feel, I'ma keep it all trio, that's what it do, right? Oh yeah, put your drink in the cup with your middle finger right. For those of you unfamiliar with Bud's Eggnog, let me familiarize your face with the knowledge of the eggnog of the kings. Play my holiday music, fool! Famous because... Bud's Ice Cream of San Francisco is a decades-old legend in acidity. Acidity? What the pizza? Cut! Holiday music, mother pizza. Bud's Ice Cream of San Francisco is a decades-old legend in a city devoted to good living, my friends. San Francisco has more restaurants per capita than any other American city and culinary arts flourish here among a discriminating audience accustomed to quality. Keep playing my holiday music! Since 1932, Bud's Ice Cream of San Francisco has produced world famous ice cream and egg noggage, drawing rave reviews from critics and consumers alike. <laughs> Underlying the Bud's mystique is a simple formula for success. The finest and freshest ingredients, and too much of them, my friends. Only the best quality cream, milk, eggs, non-alcoholic rum, flavorings, and imported nutmeg go into Bud's famous eggnog. And then we even add more for good measure. The holiday season. Make your gatherings with family and friends even more memorable with Bud's famous eggnog, a rich holiday tradition from the city by the bay. Cut my music! Uh, let's continue with some Jamaican music, please. Thank you. Let's try it, shall we? It's got a, oh, it's got a lid. You know where to open the eggnog? Because it says right here, to open. On the other side, it says nothing. This side, to open. So I recommend you open it to the side that says, to open. Thank you. I can't even open it from the side that says to open. Son of a piece of mother, I got it. Now let's just, uh... oh yeah, that's the noggage that you want in your life. Just like that. Now, it smells like the, deli the delicious treat of noggage. It smells like a holiday season, it's the season to be drunk and jolly. But I'm not drunk because I don't have any alcohol in here, but that can all change. It's just one trip to the liquor stop. Eggnog time! It reminds me when I was a youth in Colorado, skiing down the slopes with Bruce Jenner, Grace Slick, and Eric Estrada. Boy, were those moments of time that I wish I could take back and do again. I want to thank you for appreciating the eggnog predicaments and adventures of the journeys that I have in my eggnog treatments. The eggnoggery is quite established in the creation and curiosities of those nut makers who also have a lot of cumin in their diet who want to get it out with the eradication of cumin hemorrhoids. It can be eradicated through the ingestion of eggnoggery, noggish, nagatoid, heavens to murgatroid, nagatoishis, which is a big tower in East Japan called the nagatoishis kumatama. And you can also find eggnog in the lower lobby next to the tuna sandwiches as they are all in a machine. You put money in and they will come out and the eggnog you can choose whether you want it warm or cold. It's pretty cool. You should try it. Thank you for watching the Daily Boogie. I'm Boogie the Man. As always, who wanted to the Boogie 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 the Bo